While the CMB is remarkably uniform, its true power lies in its tiny variations. Initial observations like those by Penzias and Wilson found the CMB to be almost perfectly smooth. However, theoretical models of structure formation predicted that there must be small temperature fluctuations in the CMB. Without these tiny variations, the universe would have remained perfectly smooth and uniform, and gravity would have had no starting points to begin forming the large-scale structures like galaxies and galaxy clusters we see today. In 1992, the Cosmic Background Explorer, or COBE satellite, made a groundbreaking discovery. After meticulously mapping the entire sky, COBE detected incredibly subtle temperature variations in the CMB at a level of about one part in 100,000. These tiny anisotropies, or directional variations, were exactly what cosmologists were hoping to find. They represented the primordial density fluctuations in the early universe, the seeds from which all cosmic structures would eventually grow through the action of gravity. The significance of these CMB anisotropies cannot be overstated. They are direct evidence of slight over-dense and under-dense regions in the universe at the time of recombination. Over-dense regions were slightly hotter, while under-dense regions were slightly cooler. These subtle differences in density meant that gravity would act slightly more strongly in the over-dense areas, attracting more matter over billions of years. Conversely, under-dense regions would lose matter to their denser surroundings. 